Look what I found. A fairy doll. Tiny little fairy doll. With my monster shadow dog. Hello. Today is the 13th of February and I'm not running, I'm walking with my dog, Rocky. He's actually 13 years old this year, quite old, part of the Alteria, and still active. Today I decided to make a chatty in front of the camera video because I don't make many of those. I normally just film people running and I don't have a lot of experience chatting in front of the camera because I don't have a GoPro, I just got a telephone with a selfie stick and I keep losing my microphone so my microphone and the phone is a bit rubbish so it's a bit of a hassle filming myself like that but anyway I thought it would be good practice to do it I'm walking to our local nature reserve called Brockholz across the motorway bridge and it feels very springy today, birds are singing, first snowdrops are coming out, it's beautiful, the sun is shining, I love it, I love just enjoying it. My car is in the garage at the moment, it's been there for a while, so if I go somewhere I always get, I try to get a lift with people. Today I just came out of the house and I'm walking and hopefully tomorrow I'm going to go to the forest of Boland to do some long running there, long distance running, maybe about 13 miles with Mick, hopefully, if he gives me a lift. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it, because there's this place that's called Langden Rocky, I need to let him off, he's, <laughs> he's like everywhere, I need to let him off really. This place called Langden Castle, it's not really a castle. If it was a castle, it would be the smallest castle in the world. But I want to go above it. I saw a lot of people's Strava. It looks really good. So I want to explore that area. There's something magical about this time of the year. Something sacred. It's like an in-between state. The nature is still waking up from its winter slumber. However, it feels very springy and warm in the air. There are already first snowdrops coming out. Lately I've been trying to improve my overall fitness and my pace, my running pace in particular, because I lost it over the period when I was injured and it's very difficult to get it back. It's very frustrating. So I try to take any opportunity just to stay active. I like this top path above the river Ribble because it's very secluded, not a lot of people come here. So it feels like it all belongs to myself. And this is our mighty river Ribble in Preston. You going in the river, boy? You come in. Oh, good boy. So I was going to talk about how I could improve my pace, my running pace, my speed. I used to go to a running track, but at the moment it's closed for repairs. So I was watching some people just using lamp posts as markers, so they could, for example, run as fast as they could for uh, the lengths of the three lamp posts and then jog for the following three lamp posts. Then I also saw, uh, somebody suggested that maybe I should run as fast as I can, then stop, get my breath back, then run as fast as I can again. But I wasn't quite sure on uh, the specifics about how fast I should run or how long for. So if you've got, and I think there's probably plenty of uh, interval training on the internet, but if you have a really good suggestion, then I'm open to those suggestions. Rocky, what are you doing? Rocky, come here, boy. Rocky. Come here. I'm gonna knock the camera over now. Come here, Rock. Come here, boy. Are you alright? 
rookie. Go play. Oh, there's a fisherman there on the other side. That's what you've spotted. I really like just walking, looking around, enjoying the nature. I can walk for hours like this, not just for exercise, but just to, to see things, to, oh, I got called by a song, to be the one with nature. This forest is alive. I love the beautiful sounds. How many years must a mountain exist before it is washed? I normally go swimming on a Monday in the evening with my daughter. I treat it as a recovery. It's great for after running, but because my car is broken, I won't be able to get there today because you need to drive there. So I'm treating this gentle walk with my dog as a recovery even though these stairs now they look flat on the camera but they're not there's loads of them as well thank you for sticking with me during this walk it was as if I didn't go for a walk by myself well I did I was just talking to myself to the camera really <laughs> and my dog but still thank you for watching and until next time, 256, 257, 258, 259.